Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Works. If you're looking for consistent content that dives into everything for artists, influencers, models, photographers, and the like with consistent artistic concepts, then you have come to the right place and we're about to get started. Where now we're going over today is how collaborations have really turned the landscape in the sneak in the in the streetwear industry. The first one we're gonna go over is Yeezy, Kanye West, and Adidas. Now back in 2013, Kanye West made his infamous split away from Nike, which caused a lot of her feelings, a lot of issues, a lot of backlash that is still seen in a lot of songs today. You may have heard Drake's verse in Sickle Mode. The messy split he had with Nike did not stop them from releasing the shoe that they had him signed on with, despite not having the person who made it at the helm. But during that time, Yeezy was piling up something really big with Adidas, who were smart enough to steal him away and give him much more control that he was looking for. And he was able to unleash the Yeezy 750, which was able to take off like a gangbuster on the sneaker industry. Sold out instantly. And the crazy thing about them is that a lot of people don't even like how they look. They just buy them because the brand is so big now they can't resist it. When Kanye West made this move, however, Nike did not take kindly to not having a big player like that in the game anymore. So what they did is they took one of Kanye's greatest uh, prodigies in Virgil Abloh to help create something for Nike. And what he made is what we're now known as Off-White. So what Virgil was able to do is he did a great job with the Jordan 1s that helped catapult him into this position. And Nike was able to take notice of that and capitalize on that even further. Now, what a lot of these brands are doing is they're taking the pop culture, they're taking the pop culture love that a lot of these people had gotten in the past, especially people like Kanye West, and they're parlaying it into their own brand so that they can use their audience to sell back to them. How many times have, you know, you as a, smaller artists or anyone just trying to get started wanted to get the word out without spending money, without going too crazy in some other marketing tangent, what would you do? Well, something that a lot of people don't even think about is collaborating with other people in your sphere or even outside of your sphere. Now, what does a cooking show get from bringing in viewers from a health show? A lot of new viewers a whole new audience. It may not be all the people that they want, but they're getting a great majority of new people and they're finding a gaping hole in where their revenue can explode. We were able to see that with Off-White because Virgil's designs were at the peak of interest within the, within the community. Everyone was loving him, everyone respected him, as they continue to do to this day, still makes incredible designs. He just recently did a really great collaboration with Louis Vuitton for NBA, another collaboration. You see the point of this video. With Virgil, his, his uh, concept and his idea was able to make Off-White not just shoes, but also clothing and the like, so that they're able to bring themselves to a whole nother level while not worrying about Kanye West who had just left two years prior. Now that collaboration saved Nike in more ways than one, primarily with the Kanye uh, backlash they were receiving from the media. A lot of people were worried about Nike. They thought he was done. Another misstep Nike had took, taken a little while earlier was skipping out on signing Steph Curry, who then signed a really great deal with Under Armour and is now even releasing his own brand under the Under Armour label. As mentioned, they were able to bounce back from that by le grabbing onto Virgil, someone heavily influenced by what Kanye West was doing. And they still have a great relationship to this day, five years later and still going. Supreme and Louis Vuitton. Now this is the most recent, excuse me, <clears throat> the most recent collaboration. And in my opinion, one of the biggest ones and most infamous because of how people are viewing it. 
a lot of people in the industry are wondering why Louis Vuitton would wanna go to Supreme's market and vice versa. And I'll tell you why. Louis Vuitton knows that a lot of people who are buying Supreme are not your everyday people, are not your everyday streetwear person. They're more of the high beast culture, the high beast culture that has a lot of money to blow and they wanna blow it on something that looks nice. The same people that are going to wanna to buy the newest iPhones whenever they come out, the same people that are going to get in on actually another collaboration, which is Hermes Apple Watches, those bands going for about 1400 a piece right now. It's something that's really captivating a lot of those hypes. And that collaboration, you know, with the two biggest luxury brands in the world today is something that a lot of people are gonna gravitate to. So Louis Vuitton actually, I would say what, within the last two, three weeks, just came out with a really great brand. I'll leave the link in the description below to where you can look at some of the Supreme Louis Vuitton collaborations and see if it's something that you'd be interested in for yourself. The biggest surprise that you will see uh, from the list, which I'm also going to link in the description too, it is by High is No Beauty. Is by High is No Beauty. And the biggest surprising one is of a collaboration that I've seen in streetwear is H&M and Versace. That's something I never would have thought would work out, but H&M, like Macy's, like JCPenney, like a lot of uh, clothing brands that are fairly popular in malls, outlets, are losing their people. Well, where are they going? I'll tell you, they're going online, they're going to Walmart, they're going to Target, because they're realizing H&M is a little bit expensive, but it's not really worth it for me. H&M, in my opinion, was in the in between a rock and a hard place. They were a nice brand that was that is not affordable to the common person, but it's not so exclusive that it's for the extremely well-off person. Similar to Old Navy, what I see nowadays, I feel Old Navy is trying too much to dissuade away from the idea that we are a lower value, more affordable clothing line. But when I go to Old Navy, in fact, we have a store at the mall where I'm at here is closing. Their jeans are still more expensive than some of the much nicer jeans where I can go to H&M, where I can go to JCPenney, where I can go to Macy's, any much more top of line store at a Banana Republic. When it comes to that, you gotta know where you need to be as things change in the world. And that's why in 2014, when Alexander Wang made a fashion show unleashing the H&M Versace collaboration, it was able to take their site by storm. Site crashed first day. Now to do that, you have to have a very, very high amount of visitors coming in all at one time. So just by those numbers alone, you've got to think they must have done really well. And that's why they're still standing the test of time to this day. What's the point of these collaborations? When it comes down to it, if I could say one thing, new audience, new motives, new meaning. These brands are looking for a new audience. They're trying to grow like H&M. They didn't want to be held down like an old Navy and see their store declining, see the number of people that are coming in leaving. They wanted to make sure they differentiate themselves. They wanna see, am I a affordable brand? Am I a luxury brand? You have to know what you are and you gotta stick to it because making sure you own who you are is very, very important for your brand. And those brands had to do that at that time. And again, now look at them still doing well, still making new collaborations, a lot of them, Supreme and Louis Vuitton, pushing through now. And I'll be sure to leave links to Louis Vuitton's latest collaboration with Supreme, as well as the article where I'm getting a lot of these different collaborations from in the description. And I will be commenting and talking about these collaborations 
as well as the brands in the near future because I really want you all to know the impact on them and why they are so fundamental in music, really, the hip hop genre, urban community, as well as just art in general, so that you can recognize it for what it is. That's all I have for today. This is The Works. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you next week. Peace.